Their Utah Jazz may have lost to the San Antonio Spurs in an overtime thriller, but Donovan Mitchell was sensational. The rookie took over late for the Jazz, scoring 14 in the fourth quarter, including a game-tying three-pointer with less than four seconds left to send the game into OT. Critics will point to the number of shot attempts 36, a career high he needed to reach his 35-point total, but that doesn't tell the story. Entering the game's final moments, the rookie was just one of seven from three. In fact, he was one of eight, one of ten, and one of six over the previous three games. Add in the aforementioned one of seven and you have a paltry four of 31 through nearly four games. However, that DIDNT stopped him from seizing the moment, nailing big-time three-point shots in the clutch and pulling the Jazz back into the game. The only explanation is that some former All-Star took over Mitchell's body and HES not really a rookie, right? Lamarcus Aldridge's best game in years fart makes this performance so incredible, unbelievable somehow HES still a rookie is that Mitchell did it when the Jazz were on the wrong side of a back-to-back -back against the Spurs, who have only lost eight games at home this year. He also managed to go blow for blow with Lamarcus Aldridge, who scored a career-high 45 points. In a word, Aldridge was unstoppable. He not only had his best individual game of the, it was the sixth best game of his entire career. Think about that, a six-time All-Star, who had the sixth best game of his entire career during his twelfth in the NBA at age 32, below are the six games in Aldridge's career where he had a game score of 35.0, his figure against the Jazz are greater. Note that the last time he had a game this good was during the 2013-14 when he still played for Portland. Also note that when Aldridge plays like this, his team has always won. Despite that, in a game where the Jazz struggled all night, Mitchell put the Jazz on his back and forced overtime. The Jazz had no business even being close to an overtime game given the way they performed throughout. So for those critics who will write off Mitchell's performance, just think on this, it took a six-time All-Star having a career night against a team on a back-to-back -back road set to overcome the first-year Phenom's heroics. Loss or no, what Mitchell learned from his game is something that can't be taken away. Make no mistake about it, Mitchell danced with his star and held up his end. This, from a jazz fan perspective jazz fans this have gone from. Gordon Hayward and George Hill are gone, but let's still go for the playoffs yikes, this jazz starting lineup ISNT working. They'll figure it out. Oh boy, Rudy is hurt. That may be the end. The jazz probably aren't going to make the playoffs, but Donovan Mitchell just scored 41 points. The future is bright. Is it January yet or maybe even the summer? Atlanta lost point one one straight wins and we still aren't in the playoffs, but this team is fun. We're going for home court. Now we may be thinking, oh man, we're gonna end up in the eighth spot. But look how far the team has come. At one point, nobody thought the playoffs were even going to be a possibility. Now, the Jazz are very much in the postseason mix and have already guaranteed they won't have a losing record. This was supposed to be a learning and or transition, but has still managed to be a success regardless of the final result to come. Mitchell has played a major role in making that happen. We've all said it before and he'll say it again, he is a special player.